If you're new here, we're Gabe and Powell. Back in 2020, we moved out of our apartment and converted our van into a mini casa on wheels. We were first time van builders with little experience. It was hard, but totally worth it. For more van life content, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. we're on our way to Nice Point, which has one of the Isle's most kind of popular attractions. And the good thing is we parked like 10 minutes away from it. Um, so this morning we can come nice and early and uh, get there before anyone else. So yeah, that's our plan for this morning. And then off to buy some whiskey for my mum. Should we do it? Mm -hmm. Didn't think we were going to get a sweat on this morning. By the way, um, the weather that we have had whilst being on Sky has been unbelievable. It's like tropical. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't go that far. It's, it's, it's sunny. <laughs> It's tropical. It's sunny. For the for the UK, for Scotland, I think this is next level weather. Mm. There it is. Cerro Santos. How do you feel about the lighthouse? Nice point. Gorgeous. I wish we could go inside. Yeah, bit of a trek to get there though, isn't it? Eh? Bit of a trek to get there. Yeah, views are beautiful. We found a place that does oat milk. Usually I'm on one coffee there at the moment. Mm? I'll put, sorry, powder's acting too cool for the camera. I'll put it down. What? You. We love you. Say. Say hi to the, uh, the the YouTube channel. Say hola. Que digáis hola al canal. Hello. 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 Bye. Muy bien. Bye. We are leaving Sky now. 
Are you sad when leaving today? A little bit sad, but I'm also looking forward to the uh, the next adventure down to, I believe, we're going to Glen Coe. Yep. And then to Argyle Forest. So. Yep. Yep. So, change of scenery. Um, so we we will start heading south now, but obviously we're quite north. So, um, Still very much uh, in the highlands. <laughs> yeah. Time to the road. Let's fill up the water first. Oh yeah. So you fill up. So here you get to see our water system. We've got the hose, which has got a special adapter so that it can it hopefully go on any tap. You will have to keep it yeah. holding. Keep hold on to it. Yep. Okay. Just continue. We've had lunch, water tank is full, and now it's time to get on the road. Now we're back on the road to get to our nice little spot in Glencoe. Just made our way to Glencoe Lochen and we are on a mission now to get to this beautiful swimming spot, Shawang, <laughs> this beautiful swimming spot. Um, about a half an hour walk apparently. And after a couple hours in the van driving, definitely <coughs> just swallowed this. What are you doing? Swallowed a fly. After a couple hours in the van, definitely need to have a, uh, a rinse off in the uh, water. So this is what it looks like. Okay, the, uh, the plot thickens a little bit. We just asked someone, oh, whereabouts is the lock-in? Um, and this local woman said, oh, just over there. So we said, oh, okay, cool. So like, um, you can just jump in there. And she was like, oh, I wouldn't go swimming in there because it's all like, I don't know. She, yeah, she just said, nah, don't, don't go there. But she did say, just go down the road and you'll find a tidal pool. And that's where all the locals go swimming. You can follow the advice of the locals. You got to follow the advice of the locals. But yeah, we're gonna have a nice walk around here anyway, because it's pretty cool. Um, just maybe not the best for swimming. Oh, how cool is this? They have a thing for the barbecue. So you put the barbecue here. Ah, that's a good idea. So then it says maybe hot. It's pretty lovely around here. Oh, so the red one is just to surround the loch. We don't have to. Around this loch one, there are a lot of sequoias, which is obviously a tree from North America not native of Scotland or Europe. So the reason why they have sequoias here apparently is because some lord something <laughs> that lived here, I'll, I'll get the name um, later, 
he used to live here and his wife was Canadian and his wife was feeling homesick so he brought sequoias for her and it's beautiful it's very romantic I wish Gabriel would do that for me <laughs> Well, after that failed attempt of going for a swim, but a lovely walk yeah. instead. Yeah, so we're following the directions from our new Scottish friend who said, this is where the locals go swimming. Take a Top tip for everyone when you come to Scotland, have a chat with the locals, be friendly, then they will point you in the right direction. We have this whole spot complete to ourselves. This is where the locals come. Met this top guy called Taggy. Absolute legend. We're not going to post exactly where this is though because they were kind enough to point us in the right direction so you'll have to find it yourself. Let's go have a little look. Sends me first. This is the um... Yeah. Should we go in together? No. Okay. You go first and you promise that it's going to be okay. How cold is it? It's fine. There is no way to like step in. And just, just do it. Just do it. You can do it. So like from the first just come out Same. Yeah. Need to get moving. Yeah. <laughs> it's very cold. Hey, keep moving. Oh my God. I'm moving. It's colder than the fire balls. Finally found our spot for the night. Pauli is cooking. How are you feeling? Tired. It's been a full on day. It's been a combination of intense walks, cold water, quite a lot of driving. I don't know how we've managed to fit it up. <laughs> That's why we're having dinner at the uh, 10. So yeah. And um, these are hanging up, so they need to dry. Also like, we're on a slope, so I feel like I'm falling that way all the time. Yeah, yeah. But you know, we have this, which is going to be amazing. The dents are kind of getting from scratch. You got enough noodles in there? Well, Gabriel eats a lot. <laughs> okay, just a little. This Where is our view. Nutritional juice. In the drawer down the bottom. No, I'm not going to. This is our view here, which is pretty amazing. River, mountain, Paula. That's all I need. That's all I need. Dinner. 
dinner in the Serra Santos Casey Casa. Anyway, I'm gonna stop filming for the night because we've had a full on day. We're gonna enjoy our food. We're gonna watch Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and probably have some snuggles. I have a gin tonic. And then we'll have a gin tonic. So yeah, we'll catch everyone in the morning. Going in the cold water. This is for Wim Hof. It's not cold. No, it's fine. The thing I'm very happy about was that this morning I was kind of psyching myself out of getting in the water. And as soon as I got in, I knew that it was the right decision. Paula gave me a little nudge, which was good. <sighs> I was feeling pretty um, sluggish this morning, a bit tired. And now, feeling absolutely pumped. It's incredible. Now it's time to get dry. <laughs> Finally got some Scottish weather. So what are we doing? We are having some food. Vegan haggis, eh? Yeah, apparently vegan haggis pecora. In this kind of little, well, not in this camper van. Behind it is a little kind of restaurant church thing. Let's go. Excited. After a lovely traditional meal of haggis pakora, we looked on park for night and found a beautiful little spot down by a lock. The paths were a little bit windy to get there, but once we arrived, we thought this would be perfect. Or at least, we thought it was. What happened? We just had a midgy incident. How did that happen? I went out to empty the Wii container mm -hmm. and on my way out and in, the door was open, what was it, second? Well, a couple of seconds each way. Mm. And we just had hundreds of little black flies, midges coming. Um, hashtag vegan. Hashtag so, vegan. So we had hundreds of midges, black flies come into the van at about half eleven at night. We've spent the last 45 minutes just trying to get as many of them as we can, either hoovering or just using a tissue. They bite. Yeah, so I'm definitely sure I've been bitten. Paula's definitely been bitten. Um... We've been pretty lucky up until this point because the there's been no rain, whereas today there was rain and it was a bit humid, which obviously just attracted all the midges. So if you do come to Scotland, don't open your door at night time. That is the tip of the day. Yeah, if you need to 
Yeah, I see another one. If you need to wee in a bucket until... If you need to wee yourself, just wee yourself. It's, honestly, it's better. After a slightly traumatic night of midges, we have come to this beautiful area um, in Argyle. We're at Ben Moore. We're at Ben Moore Botanical Garden. So we're gonna have a nice walk. stage in the walk where we're enjoying everything but also just thinking about food <laughs> so I think the last third of this adventure is going to be quicker than the first two thirds Pam, what's going on? We've been harassed by a robin it's very scary <laughs> Have you seen the birds? No, I haven't. But I think... No. 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 Get out. No. <laughs> Get out. What? <laughs> what? Why are you following us? Maybe he just wants some fun for me. You're joking. <laughs> Did I just check you out? What are you playing at? Oh, there's a big... Wow. I finished it, come on. What do you reckon? Comment below. <clears throat> was it being friendly? Or was it being aggressive? Who knows? There's the van. About friendly or aggressive? Or just weird? <laughs> 
sum up your Benmore Botanical Garden experience. That was very beautiful. It was uh, massive. So we've been walking for, I don't know. Like three hours or something. Yeah. So, I mean, you can do the shorter route, but we wanted to see everything, get our money's worth. Yeah. Um, yeah, very nice. For me, the best thing was the smells. Yeah. The scent of all the different plants and trees and flowers and stuff. Mm. Really nice. So what are we doing now? I'm checking other places. We've arrived at our camp spot for the night. After our trip to the botanical garden, we've got some woods to the back and let me show you what we've got going on at the front. So we have our own little private section of the beach. So there's the van, there's the beach. We're gonna have a little chill now, read our books, have a beer and just, yeah, relax. What are you reading, pal? This is the second part of um, Trilogy. Uh, the first one is Perdido Street Station. And then- um, What genre? Like a science fiction fantasy more or less. It's really good. If you like steampunk fantasy, then go for it. It's really, really good. What are you reading, Gabe? I'm reading Normal People uh, by Sally Rooney. It's so good. I have to say, we've ate so well on this, uh, on this expedition. We have had the laziest morning of the entire trip. I don't really know what happened to us. We, we went to bed quite early and we ended up sleeping till like 9.45. But yeah, we're gonna leave this little um, kind of campsite um, and go and get the ferry over rather than driving up around the locks. Um, we're gonna hopefully yeah, be able to just get a ferry straight over and then start making our way south, back to England and eventually back to Devon. such an amazing time in Scotland. We saw some incredible places, met some incredible people and we can't wait to go back.